Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> welcome back to another exciting episode of Revelations. This is a presentation brought to you by the Icebox, our parent company. I am the most influential speaker from the house of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm laughing at. I am the most influential speaker from the House of M, here to bring to you some reveals of my past week. What Alongside about me? with you gotta oh, give me time. Okay, okay. Alongside with me this week is Diggs himself, the co-host normally from the icebox. And today's snack is raisins. Just to this put episode that of Revelation is brought to you by Raisins. They're not just any raisins, they're... California raisins. You heard it through the grapevine. No one's going to get that reference. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I don't. Which no one will, except for maybe two people. Vince, Vincent and Escalo. Hashtag Why won't I know? Well, you'll know, but you won't, you won't put... You're not going to comment on our own YouTube video, are you? No. All right, see. All right, we're going to get right into the reveals. We know that's what, why you're all here tuning in. I already forgot what you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to, okay, we're going to go right into it. We're going to skip the comic book intro. Usually we go right into this thing with the comic books from this past week. I'm going to skip that right now. We had a huge, well, it wasn't huge, but it was the premiere of a new retail store in our area called Meyer or Mayer? Meyer. Mayer. Meyer. I think it's Meyer's. Meyer or is it Meyer's? Meyer. Meyer. Big reach. That's how big it was. I didn't even know the name of the flipping store. Uh, it's it's, it's so big it needs a map. And the queen, the queen of what is what? Are we, uh, the quote, oh, yeah, the queen Booker of talent relations accompanied me on this journey to Meyer on its opening, and uh, we got some pretty good deals. And we're gonna start off by showing you what some of those deals are. They had Hot Wheels on sale Ooh. there. I know how many people of you are fans of Hot Wheels. I believe. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. I believe they're on sale for 79 cents over the Meyer Grand Opening. And if I'm wrong, they were no more than a dollar for sure, but I'm almost positive the sale price is 79 cents. Because well, Target, we find it for like $50. Probably not, but they're on sale for at Meyer's for 79 cents because of the Grand Opening. So it's a Grand Opening sale. So we, I, I just got into these uh, recently. I'm usually by the uh, Hot Wheels that are tied into some kind of movie, cartoon, uh, video game, mm -hmm. I guess, right? But that's it. That, uh, there's other awesome cars out there, like the, the, the chase cars in a, in, a, in a box. I don't know what they're called anymore. But anyway, I just recently started to get these as well because I thought they were kind of cool, and they're going to tie into something that Diggs is going to reveal to you a little bit later on in the Ooh. show. These cars are meant to be opened, and of course, I'm not opening them, but they are meant to be opened so that a little Lego minifigure can ride on the Hot Wheel itself. Just started getting into these and collecting these, so I saw another one come out, and it's this guy right here. This is a Hot Wheel called Grass Chomper. And as so you can it's a see, lawnmower? Yeah, yeah, it looks like a riding lawnmower, as you can tell That's by the cool. picture right here. So obviously right there, like where my finger is slowly caressing the box up and down like that. Um, okay, stop it. Um, that's where the Lego minifigure is supposed to ride on. So, uh, yeah, uh, pick this guy up. And again, newer. I, I, there's probably a lot of these that are out there, um, but I, I missed so many. Again, I just started collecting these things. So here's here's the grass chomper. Again, if you have many Lego figures, I'm sure you do. Uh, put them in the little Hot Wheels. Didn't know you could do that. Well, now you know, and that's why we're here revealing to you some of these excellent picks. Stepping right or going right forward, we got. I picked up another mine cart. From the awesomely fun video game Minecraft. Now, this is an interesting car because the the vehicle is the same, but they have different characters featured on each of the cards. Cards. Um, they have the classic. What's his name? Steven? Steve. Steve. Uh, that's, character that's riding another. the minecart. That's another. Right. And what's the girl's name? Um, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Thank you, Bandit. Um, so they, I think that's, I think that's it. Or is there, is there more? I think it's just the three of them. I think it's just the three character figures that are actually riding in the minecart here. But the vehicle is the same. So this is the minecart uh, from I'm pretty Minecraft. sure they have a creeper and pig. Creeper and pig, is it? Yeah. I yeah. think they go. Yeah, right. I think there's a creeper and a pig um, I got character a pig card one. too. So, but these are fun. So I picked up one of those. 
Um, and what's also, cool, oh, sorry. Go ahead. What's cool about those is that there's like these mini like Minecraft collectibles that you can get by, and then if you open it, you can put them inside of the minecart. Really? Yes. See, I didn't know that. I'm glad Diggs is on the show. Uh, moving along, we got this emoti car. Uh, you might recognize a few of these. Actually, probably all of them, except for the mini Lego figure. Uh, from my revelations, uh, showing some of the Christmas uh, presents and Hot Wheel re reveals here. So these are still available in stores. If you like those uh, Hot Wheel cars that we showed you before, they're still out there in retail. Go get them and get them at a good price. This one here is the Modi car. And again, uh, if you turn it sideways, I'm going to start quoting the rock there. Um, you can actually see his uh, the Modi face right there, two eyeballs and a smile. Uh, and you can kind of roll it around to kind of, I don't know what it does. I haven't, I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not sure, but that is pretty neat. So there's the Modi car. Mm. It says, fuel your imagination. I can't read with your hand in front of the car. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, uh, I'll tell you about it after that. Fuel your imagination. Get those wheels turning and experiment with the world around you. All right, go ahead, Dick. That was worth the wait. So huh? on the back part, you, as you can see there, wait, it's they, the, they can't, but well, go ahead. afterwards. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, oh. the face for the multi car. Then it shows that you can yeah. spin it, and then you can draw a face on it. Ah, uh, huh. all right. I'll show you that. So he was mentioning. Let's see. Is it clear? Let's see. I'll put it as close as I can. There. So right here. Um, come on. Stop focusing on me, camera. Focus on the thing. So you can kind of tell. Right there is the face. There it kind of shows you how to flip the face. And here are diagrams that you can uh, draw your own emoji car face on there um, with a black Sharpie is what I'd recommend. So the emoji car, pretty cool. Picked up another one of those. Uh, picked up a video game from the video game, <laughs> I was gonna say Hot Wheels, video game Halo. This is of course none other than the UNSC Warthog. This is a fantastic vehicle in the game classic memorable one of our favorites to run and use and pretty crucial in certain missions in the halo series fun fact i beat halo 5 in two days yeah we're uh, we won't get into that I, I'm, I'm happy actually i'm glad you beat it that it's it's a great game i love it um but they took away local campaign that was really very sad that was mm. kind of the things we look forward to i was crying for a week me i cried for i'm still crying uh, specialty, outrun or outgun any enemy in your path with the Hot Wheels UNSC Warthog, combining firepower and maneuverability. The M12 Warthog excels at on-road or off-road combat. Pretty sweet. I like that. And this next car, one, two, three, four, four. I bought four of these guys, and if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you all four. Right there. Yeah, I bought four. I'm a hoarder. I buy them. A lot. So I bought four of these guys. And these are on top of the ones that I got for Christmas. But uh, the Jetsons car. So this is really, really cool. It's got the classic colors. Looks just like the thing from the cartoon, their vehicle from the cartoon. Clear wheels. That's pretty neat. A uh, little dome To show on that the top. like it's flying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, dude. Um, but yeah, the Jetsons Hot Wheel car. So again, these cars are still available out there in retail. Find them in retail so that you're not paying <laughs> my <$50. prices. laughs> that I will basically resell these at too. Um, we were just at a show called C2E2, which we'll be revealing some stuff from there. Um, C2E2, and these cars were all there, and they were not 79 cents. They were not a dollar. They were more expensive than that, so... Again, they're available, but they're they're available there all the time because there's always going to be someone selling them. Hence the reason why I bought four of them, right? Um, but uh, they're still in re they're still in the wild, as I'd like to say. They're still in retail stores, so go out and find them. Justin's car, pretty cool. All right, Diggs, uh, those are my Hot Wheel reveals. Before we get into the comic books, why don't you uh, share some something that you reveal something that you got this past week? You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. So as you already know, I have been drinking out of this Steven Universe Cookie Cat. What if, the, what if the viewers are blind and they were just listening to us? So what a cookie cat is, it's a whole new treat with an all new taste. It came from this planet from outer space, a refugee from an interstellar world. But now he's at your local grocery store. Cookie cat, he's a treat for, you know, he's a treat for your tummy. Cookie cat, he's super duper yummy. Cookie cat, he left his family behind. Cookie cat, 
Now available at refurnishments at room 109. Okay. Um, it's did you just make that up or did you memorize that? Either way, it's I impressive. It. Either way, it's impressive. Um, All right, go so, ahead. Um, it's from... Peace war and hope now. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um, so, it's basically like a ice cream... Ice cream? Sandwich. Yes. An ice cream sandwich, yes. except it's in the face... Or, it's like a face of a cat. And then it's a gotcha. vanilla and strawberry flavor. All right. As you can see... There's nothing no, in there, is there? Okay. It looks like mint now, but there's like one green and one pink, or pink eye. Yeah, I love that. It looks great. It looks great. So where, was the, where did that come from? Did you say where you came in? Where that got from? Um, I got that from C2E2. C2E2. So Revelations is normally a weekly show, right? It is. That's a fact. Well, we try to make it weekly. Um, time for some California raisins. This episode of Revelations brought to you by raisins. California raisins. Not just any raisins, but... California reasons. Um, so C2, okay, so normally it's a weekly show of stuff that we've, we've gotten or acquired or just anything that's happened in our past week that's worth mentioning on this YouTube show. Um, but we are also going to be having some uh, specialty shows, Revelation C2E2 edition. Ooh. And um, yeah, they're going to be shows that are exclusively revealing cool swag from C2E2. And we're going to be previewing some of the stuff this evening on this show. So you can get a kind of vibe and taste of what to be, what to look forward to. Lots of stuff to reveal from uh, C2E2, but uh, uh, look forward to that. Again, those are going to be their own separate shows uh, put out as soon as we're able to here. So cool. Cool. All right. What else did you want to show? Um, if you were wondering what I was drinking, I was drinking Gatorade. I'm sure everyone was wondering what you're drinking. Uh, and I'm glad you were able to show that. So what, might as well show them. We already described what uh, what is sponsoring this show, raisins, but not just any raisins. They're California raisins. All right. So what kind of drink is this? Don't show the logo. We this, don't have we don't have permission is, to show the logo. This is. We'll get sued. This is glue. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do it. Okay. No one's watching this show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you kidding? Or? I'm not kidding. Go ahead. No, you can show it. Joy. If we get in trouble, we get in trouble. What's going to happen? I don't, I don't This know. is cool blue. It's nice and cool. It tastes good. I like the flavor. Yeah. All right. That's that's an interesting drink. Uh, so, side note about that drink. He was getting it ready. He asked me if he can have a drink on the show. I was like, well, sure. I mean, we, we, we're talking a lot. We we um, uh, we're talk, we talk a lot, and we have stuff. We talk. Okay. Dear God. We talk a lot. And it's like you it's try natural. To sing the song. Yeah, it's natural that uh, we our voices go. So I said, "Yeah, have a drink on there. Keep your voice, you know, in tune and 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 and, 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 and sounding well." Yeah. Anyway, so he's uh, he he says, "Can I have the drink on the show?" So yeah, come and bring it. So as soon as he brings <laughs> he brings it, not one foot away from all of this expensive equipment that we've put into the show. Uh, he starts, <laughs> he's like, the moment he gets right, you can't see my hand because it's apparently off screen, but you see my face right here. It's going to be about 12 inches away. That's about 12 inches away from my face. My hand is away from my face. This far, again, we're, how far? Most influential speaker from the house of him? I can't see because your hand's off camera. Well, imagine it. It's right here. Anyway, he was this far away and he starts, he spilled the drink. Am I lying? Let's just say it was too full. It was too full. And so I was like, you better not be taking that drink any closer. And he did. It's actually right on our table now. It's but empty, though. Yeah, thank you. Okay, it, it's, it's empty. So um, anyway, wow, what a stupid story that was. Yes, Bandit? She's talking to me off camera. Sorry, YouTube viewers. Okay, What's up? I, can, I can show my No next questions? Time. No questions? Right. So most horrible thing I, ever is what the bandit says. All right, next I reveal. Go ahead. Recently found a Lego two. So I found three here. Oh, I'll find the other side. So I found a Lego set that I opened in 2015. So already I, I understand because my this the whole point of this show is to reveal stuff that we got this past week, right? Yeah. Unless it's going to be a C two E two edition. Uh, cause we just covered that. So twice now 
Diggs has has uh, tarnished that reputation of the revelations. He's brought on stuff that we did not get this past week, and he revealed them to you. He asked the most influential speaker from the House of M for permission like that, so I'm giving him permission. So anyone who's watching and says, hey, that doesn't count because that wasn't your past week, I'm, it's our show. So I'm giving him permission to do it. So Diggs, something so from 2015. I, go ahead and show us what you're uh, I what you're recently found a Lego. Oh, darn it, I forgot that one too. I recently found a Lego set that I have built in 2015. Two years ago. About two years ago, yeah. I forgot. I forgot where it was. I lost it. Lost it. So I go into his room to get something for him, and I find it there. And I wasn't hiding it for the record. I was. I was happy. I was probably put it away so that the cats wouldn't get at it or something. Yeah. Um. So I was happy. Good. I'm glad you're happy. And so I got the cool Lego, or I brung the box out, and I found cool Lego characters. Camera's up here, dude. Just, I just found want to remind you. All right. Cool Lego figures. Camera, on, right here. On the inside of it. Um, this is Diggs' have... first time on the show, apparently. He doesn't know. Oh, here is. Okay, so. All right, go ahead. Um, I found these characters. I found Scarlet Witch. A little blurry, but that's good. That's a good. Sh that's a good view. Good, good view. All right. I found alternate Ultron. There are no strings on that's me. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it was a perfect voice, oh. which it was, by the way. I I meant that too. Yeah. All right, that's Ultron. He's cool. Hulk from the Avengers: Age of Ultron. Should I do my Ang Lee Hulk? Yes. <laughs> it's loud, though. I'm going to scare people away. Should I do it? So, okay, I, I got to set it up. So keep the Hulk there. Keep, oh, look at that. That's an awesome picture of the Hulk, by the way. Holy cow, pretty neat. All right, cool. So before Marvel became super awesome with their movies, and look how ugly I look when I'm not in focus there. That's pretty ugly. All right. Um, so before the Marvel movies came out with other awesome masterpieces, you know, movies that are out right now, right? I think I said that like three times already. There was a movie called The Incredible Hulk or just The Hulk. I think it was The Hulk. Yeah, but it was Hulk. produced by Ang Lee. And it's 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 it, it wasn't in retrospect not the best movie. Um Ang Lee had his vision. I don't know how well he executed it. Probably to perfection to that guy, but it was great. I remember seeing Super Bowl ads and we were really 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 excited to go see it. Um but anyway, it's laughable now or at least I, <laughs> at least I laugh about it right now. So I did this impression of uh, The Hulk from that movie, Ang Lee version. Okay, this isn't the current one. It's not the one with uh, I'm always Mike, angry. Or yeah, not that one. R R Mike Ruff Ruffalo. Mike Ruffalo. What's his name? Ruffalo. Ruffalo. Jeez, I don't know his first name. Um, anyway, it's not that one. It's Ang Lee's version. So when he would yell as the Hulk, he'd get all <laughs> he'd get all hulked out, right? And he'd go, "Oh God, I can't believe I'm doing this." All right, here we go. If you haven't seen this, I swear to God, it's just like it. So after you see my impersonation of Ang Lee's Hulk, go YouTube it on your own. Just see Ang Lee Hulk yelling or something like that, and, and you'll see it's a dead-on dead on for it, right? All right, here you go. Am I right? Yeah. Is that That's Ang Lee's Hulk, ladies and gentlemen. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You can go YouTube it right now. You can push pause on our YouTube show and go YouTube it and find out that that's Ang Lee's Hulk. Diggs, I interrupted you far enough. Uh, go ahead and continue. So then... I, <laughs> I also right, found an Iron Man. All right, cool. Ang Lee, you spell, you spell Ang Lee, A-N-G. Oh. Another word, L-E-E. -E. Oh. Then there's right, his anyway. like face right there. So the thing lifts up, that's pretty neat. And then, of course, if you've seen Avengers Age of Ultron. Hopefully you have. When you have these two characters, and then you also have Iron Man, what do you think is going to be there? You got me, Dix. None other than... Set up. 
Drum roll. The... That's a stupid drum roll. I like it. No, bong, bong, bong. Then <laughs> the Hulk Buster. Hulk Buster Iron Man. So again, this is a 2015 reveal, but uh, they're very cool looking. And we didn't show these to you in 2015 because we didn't have this show in 2015. So it has a uh, little like fist there. It's pretty big, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, a little blaster. <laughs> On the back. I like that. Um, he has some boosters. <laughs> boosters. And then if you look... This is the cool part. Watch this. Everyone this watch. Helmet up. You have the Iron Man Lego. That's the one you just showed. Yes. You went inside that. That's, that's really cool. Like and then that. it's cool because you can take this part down. So you can like climb up there. That's, that's slick. That is really slick. And then... Just for a size comparison, yes. This, if you, I mean, you can almost tell the size currently. Hey, wait, no, no, no. You can almost tell the size with the mini Lego figure. That's the mini Lego figure. That's the that's the size that goes in that Hot Wheel that we just showed you before. But yes, then after the mini Le mini Lego figure, there's another size character, which is generally the bigger guys. Show them that one compared to the Hulk Buster Iron Man suit. There's the Hulk, the Ang <laughs> the Angly Hulk. <laughs> Um, uh, it's compared it's like comparatively to the Iron Man Hulkbuster suit. Size. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Very cool. Yeah. Any other Legos? Yes. All right. Keep it going. Uh, brief time out. I'm sorry, YouTube video, YouTube awesome. uh, viewers. No, no, keep going. Awesome. Uh, sorry, YouTube viewers. But uh, some some of these broadcasts we like doing on uh, we like doing a Facebook Live presentation simulcast, if you will. Um, so I'd like to give kind of a shout out. We had uh. Uh, Sarah say hi to us so hi Sarah um, and uh, if, if ever if anyone's ever watching us on Facebook live we'll kind of we'll give you some shout outs too as we record this um, YouTube video YouTube watchers though when you watch our videos on YouTube if you put any any kind of comment in the comments area guaranteed we will reply to each and every one of them just ask YouTube Watchers like Vincent and Escalo, we've replied to each one of them several occasions, and we thank them for watching and being a consistent watcher of our revelations. Diggs, keep going. Okay. What's next? So I picked out five Lego minifigures that I got from C2E2, and I decided to order the order them to from the least to highest of amount I like it. All right, so you're going to show us the one that you still like, but he's your least favorite of these yeah. five, he or she. All right, so again, this is a sneak peek to the types of things you're going to see on our specialty Revelations episodes, uh, C2E2 edition. Okay. All yours, dude. So it is none other than... Yeah, it is. Then Sila. The ninja warrior mutant herself, Psylocke. Cool. All right, Psylocke. Then I have the wasp. There she Personally, is. Personally, I put it in fourth place just because the face looks a little weird, but otherwise, then it's pretty cool. Here, mini figure. It is pretty cool. I like it. I like her. Show her the wings. Show the turn around so you can see the wings. In wings are uh, clear there. Um, she's got awesome looking hair, good outfit, but yeah, so there's the, there's the wasp. Then I put this one in third because I liked the other two more, but I've been looking, sense. I didn't put them in, uh, fourth or fifth place just because I've been looking for this minifigure for a while now. And it is Magneto. We are the future, Charles, not them. That's my Magneto impersonation from the first X-Men films, films, not the not the newer ones. Magneto sporting his classic outfit, the helmet, the purple cape. That's almost like Secret Wars co costume, uh, Magneto. And if so, you feel the back of his cape right here, it's like nice and fuzzy. Yeah, it is. Uh, does this helmet come off? 
give the viewers a look. Oh, no, he doesn't have his gray hair. Okay, well, he's bald. This is a bald version of Magneto. All right, put the helmet back on. Give him some dignity. Sorry. Because you need to put the actual hair. Does he? So this one comes with hair? No, it oh, doesn't. Okay. But nothing worse than dead air. You got to fill me in when I take um, a drink. You got to fill it in. Sorry, so sorry about that, people. Next, I have Wolverine. This again, one is cool. I like again, this Again, another character that I've been looking for for a long time. This version or just any? Just any Wolverine. Okay. This is your cool. first one. Yeah. This is your first Wolverine minifigure. Wow. So he comes with uh, detachable claws. Is this Wolverine ball too? Probably, right? Look at his eyes. Bum, bum. <laughs> oh, he's got his good burns. He's got his sideburns going. That's pretty cool. But the, the this is almost, this is Secret Wars costume as well, Wolverine. Um, the, the yellow and brown suit, very, very classic. Uh, takes you back to the 80s, really. Um, his claws, are, again, I said, are removable. Uh, but there's Wolverine. He looks very, very cool. I love the way his, his uh, mask looks, too. It's just like an extra helmet uh, fitting right onto his head there. But very cool. Yeah, I like that one. Good find. And then first place, because his movie was amazing. It made us laugh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was, it was, it was a good movie. It was a good movie is Doctor Strange. Dormammu, I'm here to make a... Bargain. Bargain. Dormammu, I'm here to make a bargain. Dormammu, I'm here to make a bargain. If you don't get the reference, do yourself a favor. Treat yourself to a viewing of Doctor Strange. And if you take off his little cool magic thingies there... <laughs> If you look close, he has his um, little Slimmering? eye. The oh, eye. the eye of Agamotto? Agamotto, yeah. Pretty it's pretty cool. cool. He's got his style and hair, his styling cape and cowl. Uh, very cool, very worth it as well. And yes. decent prices you paid for these guys, right? Yes. What was the, do you remember what the price was? There was one for like 6 for 20 And there, that's, that's I bought good. a lot of them from that stand. For sure. Excellent. Are those all the Legos? Yes, that is all. So there's just a sample of what you're going to see on our C2E2 uh, Revelation episodes. Um, yeah, very cool. Good deal as well. Um, and he's gotten some figures that he's never gotten before. So that's pretty neat. Uh, one moment pause for the cause here. We're going to end our Facebook live viewing, our simulcast right now, because again, they just get a sneak peek. If you want the full episode, go to YouTube and find us um, as Icebox Cast. Um, or follow us on Twitter at IceboxCast, and you'll see all the links directly going to our YouTube videos. And once you do follow us on Twitter at IceboxCast, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll never miss an episode. You'll be alerted every single time. All right? All right. So bye-bye, Facebook viewers. There we go. I'm going to bring this back to reality here. And we're going to move right into our comics. I think after the comics, we've got one, oh, oh, a couple more things. So uh, let me oh, yeah. do this. Um, so at the Meyer store as well, the grand opening, I also picked up this figure. Now, anyone who's anyone that knows the most influential speaker from the House of M knows that I enjoy Star Wars. Uh, last episode, I believe we had the reveal of Darth Revan. <laughs> Still excited about that one. This is a great buy, though, from Meyer. So Meyer had a sale on their Star Wars toys, too. And the sale was half off, Diggs. Yeah. So I got a black series. That's like fifteen dollars. Less. Twelve. Princess Leia Organa. Less <laughs> digs. The price like seven dollars. The Nalamar. The price normally for these guys is twenty bucks. Try not to spend too much more than that on these guys if you're paying retail. Plus um, tax. Well, yeah, tax. Taxes on that. And fees. Mostly. So Star Wars Princess Leia Organa was half off. That and if they normally retail at twenty, that makes her um ten. Ten dollars. How Plus can you fees. not buy a black series Star Wars figure for ten dollars? They're half flipping off. She is now part of the Icebox collection. Princess Leia Organa was one of the Rebel Alliance's great greatest leaders, fearless of the battlefield and dedicated to ending the tyranny no, 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 of no. the Empire. No. And also, 
the actress who portrayed her has passed on. Mm -hmm. That is sad. Moment of silence for Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher. Thank you. Great buy. I get a Meyer sale, 50% off there. Um, okay, so you have one more thing, right? No. How many more things you got? Zero. Oh, what about the that thing over there? Or this thing? Oh, this thing. You already did it, right? Mm -hmm. So where did you get this? I got this in... Um, did you already sell them? And I just missed it? Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah. all right. right. I like the beginning. Okay, so, but did you describe what it came in and... No. Do you want to, or should we save that? We'll save that for the... All right, you'll have to see that for the C2 experience. edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so interesting story, oops, interesting story on where this came from. Other than what it is. Yes, it's from C2E2, but how we got it from C2E2, that's another story, right? All right. Okay. And, well, and while you're getting your things. Um, right here. Oh. But go ahead. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe and press that little bell right next to it to get notified about when we upload. Listen to this guy. He knows this YouTube stuff. All right. Very good. Thanks, Dix. Okay. Um, All right. So this is... Uh, Normally, I, I, I show you my DC comics that I buy every week, right? Well, I've, I've heard from people who haven't made comments on our uh, YouTube page. Um, hey, why don't you show any other comics? Are you just a DC boy, huh? You just like DC comics? And I've told on air before, it's like, I'm a Marvel guy through and through. I just reveal my DC books because I buy them weekly at my comic shop. Proven by his shirt. Yeah, Iron Fist. Boy, look at that. Um... Made, hey, okay, how, this shirt, custom made by House of M Inspired Creations. Go to our Facebook page. <laughs> A lot of promos on this episode of Revelations. You, follow, you can follow our page on uh, Facebook. It's under, you can search um, Inspired Creations, H-O-M. And you'll see all the different t-shirts that we made for the C2E2 experience. Uh, this is one of them. This is Iron Fist right there. Cool shirt. Yeah. Oops, this is the top of the dragon's head. Okay. So, yeah, you can see all our designs of t-shirts, and they're available. So, if you want one, you just got to let us know. Um, yes, we charge for it, but still. Um, you can see a shirt you like, let us know. So, anyway, uh, I've, uh, I'm going to show you some other comics that I picked up. This one is from Image Comics. Uh, bear with me. Everything that we show, everything that we do here with our, our, our YouTube videos and podcasts um, are family-friendly. Uh, here's a warning. This comic book is not family friendly. All right. I'm just going to show you the cover. There's nothing explicit or anything on there either. But if you're going to read it, better ask your parents. Okay. Or if you are a parent, well then go ahead and read it. But this one is God Country. So at C2E2, I was, I said there was nothing explicit on there, but here's this guy cutting off a head and shoving his hand down someone's throat. So I'll just... <laughs> Uh, my apologies. I'll show you part of it. I'll, I'll go like this part. Yeah, there you go. So God Country. I picked this up because I went to a panel at C2E2 with the writer uh, of this book and kind of described it. It was really, really kind of kind of good uh, and interesting. Um, I haven't read an issue yet, but I just heard his pitch at the, at the panel. So I'm trying to find this uh, series. This is issue number three. And what about number one and two? I, well, I didn't find them at C2E2. Actually, I did find one of them, but that'll be on our C2E2 edition cast. Um, so I picked up this one. And yes, of course, if this is issue number three, I got to find issues number one and two before I start reading this. Um, but uh, it sounded really good. What's so happening? there's God Country from Image Comic Books. Image Comics. I picked that up this past week. And to show you that, yes, I am indeed a Marvel oh, I like that enthusiast. Cover. Bye. That's cool. Um, I picked this up for a deal. It's only three bucks at uh, Lost World of Wonders. Um, this is Avengers Old School. I'm trying to find a date from 1982, um, issue 221. And so Diggs likes the cover. It is a pretty cool cover. Has the Wolverine that I have. Yeah, yes, yeah, back to the 80s. That's what I said. Um, so this is Avengers issue 221, and why would I pick this up? Well, at this time, the Avengers ranks were kind of depleting, and these are the recruits, the potential recruits. So I bought this one because... Oh, there's Doctor Strange, too. Yeah. Right next to Doctor Strange is the She-Hulk, right there. So this issue is meaningful because it is the first time 
the She-Hulk has joined the Avengers. Yeah, so if you didn't know that, Avengers 221, go out and pick it up. It's uh, pretty cheap right now. Um, but who knows with, with what they're going to do with future Marvel movies. They have the She-Hulk on there, and she becomes an Avenger. This is going to be a crucial issue, her first time on the Avengers. Avengers Why is there an empty spot? Uh, <laughs> oh, what? I read that. Yeah, it, it says, says... Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it says Invisible it says... Girl. And she's <laughs> from Invisible uh, Girl. from the Fantastic Four, Sue Storm. So there's no picture there because she's in, she's invisible. So there's that issue. Avengers 221, go out and get it. Oh, there's so your, confused. Here's your hot tip. All right, back to the weekly uh, books that come out. DC Rebirth, The New World, Superman, Action Comics 978. Superman in a big brawl here. Doomsday, Killer Shriek. I think that's an or Banshee. Is it Banshee or Killer Shriek? I think it's Banshee. Uh, Bizarro, Metallo. Who's that last guy? Oh, Parasite. Yeah, I don't think Parasite's he's going to survive here. that one. Right there. I don't so, think he's going to survive. This just came out. That's not a good issue. Good, exciting issue to go pick up. Um, Detective Comics, DC, League of Shadows Stories continues. Detective Comics issue 955. You got Cassandra right on the top there. She is a very, very tough cookie to crack. She's a very powerful uh, ninja warrior, uh, very deadly, but has not been using her potential powers. In the background, you see Batman chained up. Um, not, not doing much. Uh, Cassandra's doing all the fighting there against the League of Shadows. Um, fight, fighting probably her mother, maybe, Shiva. So this has continued the exciting story in that one. That's really, really good story. I right now. I highly recommend Detective Comics to you. Uh, Justice League of America from DC Universe Rebirth, issue number five. Again, Lobo on the cover. I guess that guy sells comics. Well, I bought it. So there's Lobo doing what he does best, looking cool and smoking a cigar. Skulls. Lobo. Justice League of America. Still getting that one. It's still good. And this is a pretty cool cover. This is a, a lenticular cover uh, from The Flash. So but what's very cool about this cover is two things. Other than the imagery, you got um, Flash wearing uh, his uh, yellow outfits. That's probably Zoom. Um, not Zoom. Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash. Thank you, Diggs. Again, not, not I read DC. I'm not, in a, you know, I don't know everything about that. Um, but he's going after the button. And that's the current story arc that I revealed in the last episode of Revelation with Batman and the Flash going after the button from uh, the original DC Rebirth issue with the Watchmen. But this is also, this is what they call a gimmick cover. It's a lenticular cover. And of course I bought it. Um, but if you turn it a certain way, you see the, the, you see the reverse flash. And if you turn it another way, you see him turning into bones. So let's see if we can get that effect on this issue. Try to turn it so far. So good right there. See, that's where I see it. Anyway, I don't know if you guys saw it. There's the reverse flash. He's, he's getting his flesh torn off there. And then he's back to normal this way. Going Can I take button. a look at that afterwards? You uh, show? Yeah. Are you you're done showing, revealing? Yeah. Yeah, you can look at it there. So there's there's our first flash. What issue is this? This is issue number twenty one for three ninety nine. One more look at the look at that. Look at that. Skull bones, flesh being torn off, and normal reverse flash. Yeah. All right. Last thing we got for you this evening. Uh. <laughs> Shonen Jump, still going after uh, Light in the Death Note series. If you, This has been a, almost a running gag on the Revelations episode. This is what started it all, though, as well. Right? The Shonen Jump guys, this, this is what started it. So I don't know what will happen if, uh, if I complete the series. We know I don't have to do the arcade classics anymore that are behind us because they are completed. I got them all. So we can open the Steven Universe ones. No, it could be. But I got to finish this one. So again, I'm going after Death Note. I have two of the three that I want. That one in particular, I wanted. L, and I got him. Ryuk, I got him. Light is the one that's evading me right now. Uh, I've gotten Goku and Piccolo. And I got all these other guys over Vegeta here, too. Looks I don't, cool. you know, Vegeta looks cool. I don't got him, but uh, he does Actually, look cool. Actually, you do not have this guy. Naruto. 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 From Naruto. That's not Naruto. 
that's not him though. I, yeah. I also don't have Naruto. So let's see what we got. We're gonna we're gonna open this up on the air. I'm gonna move my hands here across the mic. And let's hope. Let's hope in uh that this this journey is over, right? Open the flap here. There's no so like the arcade ones, I told you there's a certain way to open the boxes so you can keep the arcade looking boxes cool because I think yeah, this one I really don't care. It's just it's they didn't do anything fancy with the box. The other one's cool. The arcade ones are cool because it was uh um, oh sorry, Van did you want the box? Um so the other ones the bother box was cool because uh, it looks like the old arcade boxes, and that's why we wanted to keep those as uh, pieces for that one. Oh, I'm not showing you. Okay, so all right. So what do I get? Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. The plastic coming off here. Is anyone? Ex is everyone excited? Yeah. No. It's the journey will continue after this reveal, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So the bag. There you go. Bend it. Yeah, you see that, Diggs? Look, who can guess it? There's a little piece. Turn him around. Any guesses? Maybe Vincent could, because he likes this, too. Here's one more hint. I am the prince of all Saiyans once again. The prince of all Saiyans, Vegeta himself. He has his tail. Monkey tail. <laughs> this is, yeah, very good... Uh, very good, uh, very good observation. Wow, very great vocabulary I got. Do you too? Um, I like observation. So uh, right here is he's he's it's a little brown rope. That's not a rope. It is That's brown. That's his tail. That's his tail. So as when you were born tail. a sand, you you're born with a tail, and when the moon comes out, you turn into this big Ozaru, which is pretty much this ape like thing. Goku got his cut off. I go and so did Vegeta. Anyway, yeah. but this is uh this is Vegeta when he first entered the realm uh when he's first introduced into the dragon ball z lore uh he still had his tail he has classic saiyan armor and his um key scouter. Meter, sky scouter yeah um, it's over nine thousand. there you go you can google that too if you would see what the history is on that anyway this is vegeta it looks like his head turns i am the prince of all saiyans once again he calls goku what kakarot he never calls him goku i don't think he does he just always calls him kakarot uh, that's his Saiyan name. Goku's Saiyan name is Kakarot. There he is. Uh, that's all the articulation he has on him. That's all the prince needs. His his uh, scouter, what's it called? Scouter. Scouter <laughs> is very cool. Look at that. A little bit of a close up. I'm very happy with this reveal right here. Vegeta himself. Look at that. Very, very cool. I'm so glad it's focusing on him. Very nice. So, hey. That about wraps up this episode of Revelations. Uh, we showed you some C2E2 stuff. We showed you our comics. Showed you the Hot Wheels, that Meyer Star Wars figure that was 50% off. Many, many Lego figures. And Prince of all Saiyans, once again, Vegeta himself. Uh, that's about it. Diggs, anything else from you? No. All right. So remember, uh, follow us on Twitter, at IceboxCast. You'll see all the links that we promote. Um, that's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, you can also visit some of our Inspired Creations on our Facebook page. Search Inspired Creations, H-O-M, and you'll see tons of awesome stuff, including this T-shirt and other T-shirts we've produced uh, for C2E2. And again, they're available to you as well. You just got to let us know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell button to be notified of when we upload. That's correct. That's a, that's a big thing. So, yeah, subscribe to our YouTube page once you find it, all right? Again, run YouTube as Icebox Cast. All right, that's pretty much it. That's for this episode of Revelations. Remember, it's never too late to create and enjoy your evening.